very much. Um, thank you to the journalists for coming to this press briefing. I would also, of course, like to take the opportunity to thank SAFTU for affording us uh, this uh, opportunity to address the media um, at this time. Indeed, the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa supports this mega general national strike, which has been called for on the 25th of April. We do so because we view this as a do or die for all workers in South Africa. The changes that this government wants to implement effectively will take us back to the days of a bad date. They claim that by forcing us to ballot before a strike, they are deepening democracy. That's a lie. What it is, it's a, it's a bureaucratic tool to frustrate trade unions, to add barriers so that we do not go on strike. Its goal is to prevent workers from going on strike, to make it um, a, a, extremely difficult for us to make a decision to go on strike. We say this because of the fact that the logistics involved in balloting workers before a strike would be enormous um, and impractical. If you look at the bus strike, for example, if the labor laws had been in force, there would be no bus strike. You have bus workers who work in different depots who are spread out all over the country. We would have needed to hold a ballot in, at every one of those depots at the same time. It's an enormous exercise. And for, for the state to demand that trade unions, which already have very little resources, um, should actually embark on this process, is them actually saying to us that we should not go on strike. Secondly, if, if these labor laws were in force, if we consider the impact that this bus strike is having on commuters and, what it's, and the impact that it's having on the economy, the labor minister would have been able to approach the labor court to end the strike without consulting unions. So this is a very real battle for every worker in South Africa. And that is why uh, NUMSA, which represents over 350,000 workers in South Africa, is fully behind this mega strike, because this could possibly be the very last time when we can embark on a legal strike, if this government has its way. Secondly, we reject the poverty wages of 20 rand per hour. We do so because if this government had the interests of workers and their families at heart, then they would be fighting for a living wage and not accepting a poverty wage of 20 rand per hour. We know for a fact that the only reason that the national minimum wage has been pegged at 20 rand per hour is to please business. Business is pleased with the proposal of 20 rand per hour because it means that they can limit the hours that workers work and therefore limit the monthly amount that is paid. There is no worker in South Africa who will earn 3,500 rand. That is another lie which was perpetuated by the state. That can only happen if you are guaranteed a 45-hour week, which under this labor laws will not be the case. So the purpose of the strike is ultimately, it's a battle of survival for workers and their families in South Africa. Our government wants to create a labor regime of cheap African labor where the workforce is unable to go on strike for better conditions. They are doing this because they want to please business at the expense of the working class. And we reject this. And that's why every worker has been called upon to join in the strike. Mehmet Bay is the president of Yusa. Thank you. <laughs> Isuela, 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 Isuela,